It's great to be here in beautiful riding of Willowdale with our local champion, MPP Stan Cho. I just love the people of Willowdale. This community is home to some of the hardest working small business owners that I know in this city. At Korok Supermarket is a perfect example. This supermarket was founded in 1989 by Mina and Mo, who immigrated to Canada from Iran and is run by their son, Sam. And I know the supermarket is a staple for this great Iranian community here in the GTA. Our small business owners work their backs off day in and day out because they're building something of their own. Something they couldn't build anywhere else but here in this land of opportunity. And we all agree we need to rally around our small businesses right now. We know how difficult these past few months have been for our businesses and we must continue to support them because they've always been there for us. Whether it's employing local students, sponsoring our kids' soccer team, or raising money for charity, they've been there for our communities. And we've been working hard to find the right balance between keeping our businesses open and keeping workers and customers safe. That's why we introduced the COVID-19 response framework. The framework is designed around early intervention, acting quickly when we start to see problems in a specific area because it's critical that we're spending, sending, I should say, resources and acting as soon as possible. Through this early intervention, we hope to avoid large-scale lockdowns to ensure that public health measures are targeted, incremental and responsive to the limit of the spread of COVID-19. The framework is a baseline for the whole province which also allows us to focus in on the areas which have been the hardest hit. We're working with Mayor Tory, Dr. Davila, and her team to help transition the City of Toronto into the new framework on November 14th. My friends, the reality is, as we've seen across the country and around the world, these numbers are going in the wrong direction. This virus is spreading at an alarming rate all over the world, and unfortunately, Ontario is no exception. We all need to be extremely vigilant right now. The situation is concerning and we need to remain on high alert. That is why we're working with Toronto and Peel Region to ensure that all necessary steps are taken as we move forward with our framework. The situation is changing rapidly and we need to keep listening to our health experts. We need to take steps necessary to keep people safe and we will. For businesses like Coark Supermarket, is laddered approach, public health measures will provide clarity and certainty on the status of their community and region. I also want to thank Korok Supermarkets and the thousands of businesses across the province who have taken extra steps to protect their workers and customers. In fact, I want to give a special shout out to all the independent grocers out there who have stayed open throughout this pandemic. You're not only essential, You've been real champions, and thank you for all your hard work to keep the shelves stocked. But we know many small businesses still need support. COVID-19 will be with us for a little while still. And that's why Minister Phillips introduced last week our 2020 Ontario budget, Ontario's action plan to protect, recover, and support. This comprehensive action plan delivers over $4.8 billion to support our economic recovery and help small businesses get back on their feet. And more importantly, the plan includes billions of dollars injected directly into the health system to fight COVID-19. My friends, we're sparing no expense to support businesses and keep people safe. And I'm proud to announce today, our government is giving municipalities the flexibility to provide property tax relief to small businesses. We've heard from Mayor Tory and other mayors that they want more tools to provide targeted relief to small businesses in their communities. Mayor Tory, we heard you loud and clear and we're going to give you those tools. Starting in 2021, we'll allow municipalities to provide a property tax reduction to their small businesses. And our government will consider matching those municipal reductions to further reduce taxes on our small businesses. Depending on the amount of municipal take up, this tool could provide small businesses with municipal and provincial property tax relief, totaling $385 million 
by 2022. For instance, a bakery in Toronto that could mean a total of up to $10,500 in property tax savings in 2021. It's absolutely incredible and it will make a huge difference. I'll ask Minister Phillips and Mayor Tory to speak more about these plans in a moment, but I want to call on the people of Ontario once more. Please shop local, order takeout from your favourite restaurant, pick up a hot meal from a store like this one, or stop by your local bakery to pick up some treats. As the holiday season approaches, please shop local, wear a mask, practice physical distancing, and wash your hands. These simple steps will help people stay safe and keep businesses open. Those simple actions mean the world to our small businesses. And together, we can all make a huge difference. Thank you, and God bless the people of Ontario.